Hi right, guys, I'm going to be talking about the Radeon 4850 today that I have just disassembled from ATI. This is the heatsink which I have already taken taken off. There are 12 screws on the bottom of your board that you're going to have to worry about that are pretty much nail pretty much not nailed but screwed into here. And of course, you're going to also have some sticky putty that you're going to have to take off your board. Now, of course, this is it after it's been taken off. Make sure that your fan cable is also taken off before you try to rip your heatsink out of your video card because that could cause some problems later if anything happens to your video card, video card. So after you take this thing off, you'll notice that there is a bunch of all these little square things in the middle and on the sides and all over these things. Well, don't worry. I'm going to tell you what these things are. Of course, I have two right now because I do have these things cross-fired, and I found that this thing right here, the normal one, does not keep them cool enough. So what I'm doing is I am going to be getting the Zalman GV1000 and I will be installing that on these things tomorrow and I will be showing you a video of how to do that. And of course, there's nothing like this on YouTube, so this is going to be the first video that I'm going to be able to show you how to do this yourself and how to make sure to do it right. Now, let's get on with the explanation of what these things are. Of course, down here at the bottom, you'll notice that this is the PCI Express part of your graphics card up top here you're gonna be noticing that that's all the uh, X-Fire capabilities along the back edge here is of course your plugins and now we'll get to the other side here this is right here that's your port for your PCI Express 6 slot port so that you can plug in your power cable to it now these four big main things right here you don't have to worry about those as much because those are for your power and your power is pretty much I'm not gonna say heat free but it's heat resistant so if you have any extra heat sinks, go ahead and put those on there just for good measure. But if you only have eight heat sinks, which is what I'm going to get with my VG1000 from Zalman, you're going to want to put them on these eight black things right here, which are your RAM for your graphics card. Now, of course, I'm going to be getting two heat sinks, which means I'm going to be having 16 of these, but of course they're going to go on all of these and all of these. Now, the main thing in the middle here that has this really gunky looking gray stuff in the middle, that is your GPU. That's pretty much your central processing unit of your graphics card. And that is going to have the main cooler on it right about there. Now, when I'm done with this, this is going to probably take up about one to two slots in my bay, and I will be showing you that in a very bit, uh, very soon. Now, over here is my case that I'm going to be putting in, and uh, as you can see, I have a lot of extra space for all my graphics cards and everything else. So, I will show you tomorrow how to put it in, and how to do it right, and how to install it. Until then, I'll see you later.